Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Investor Technology Showcase. My name is Tony Abrahams, co-founder and CEO of AI Media. We're really pleased to have you join us today and to be able to take you through our suite of products and capabilities that position us as a leading global technology provider of captioning and translation services globally. Today, I'll run through our suite of products and services, discussing how they work and where they fit in the captioning ecosystem. I'll also be joined by Bill McLaughlin, who will run through the EEG portfolio. This will be followed by an interactive Q&A. For those of you who might be less familiar with our business, AI Media is a global live captioning, transcription and translation technology company whose proprietary cloud-based platform translates speech into text in multiple languages using a combination of artificial and human intelligence and machine learning. It's certainly been a busy year to date for us. As we outlined in our recent quarterly update, the business continues to deliver strong services revenue growth driven significantly by our live enterprise product. And the acquisitions we've made earlier in this year have also made a great contribution to our growth. We also announced the strategic expansion of our product suite with the launch of our market leading smart ASR live captioning technology, which I'll talk to a little later in the presentation. And finally, the recently announced groundbreaking acquisition of EEG, a leading North American provider of video and captioning technology. This acquisition has really transformed AI media to be a truly vertically integrated business, which has an increasing proportion of revenue coming from software as a service. With that, let's get started and we'll talk about AI Live Premium. Launched in 2010, AI Live Premium is our highest quality and longest running live captioning service. Developed in-house by AI Media's research and development team, this patented technology featured on ABC's New Inventors program following its development, winning its episode and a season finalist. AI Live Premium has been an incredibly impactful product for AI Media, representing a practical, affordable, reliable and scalable solution that has allowed deaf and hard of hearing students to participate fully in mainstream classrooms. AI Live Premium captions are delivered in real time, making live content immediately accessible. They can be displayed either on a full screen of text or embedded captions in a video stream or presentation. AI Live Premium captions are created by our highly skilled team of live captioners who are trained in-house through our Captioning Academy programs. Our live captioning service works seamlessly with any meeting, lecture or live event, regardless of the delivery platform. Our captioners simply connect to the live audio, creating the real-time captions either by typing into a stenograph machine with a phonetic keyboard, such as those used by court reporters, or re-speaking what they hear into voice recognition software that they have specifically trained to their own unique voice print. These incredibly accurate captions are then streamed securely and almost instantaneously over the internet and can be embedded into a live video stream, live meeting, or viewed on our state-of-the-art, customizable AI live caption viewer that you are seeing here. Take a moment now to point out some of the key features of the viewer. Along the top of the AI live caption viewer, you can see the toolbar with large user-friendly buttons formatted to support all range of motor skills and device sizes, including smartphones and tablets. The settings wheel showcases an array of customizable options, including different fonts, text sizes, and line spacing, enabling each individual viewer to style the live captions to their own preference. We have also included the open dyslexic font, which increases text readability and comprehension for people with dyslexia, something affecting one in 10 people. Viewers can select from a variety of color palette options that have been optimized for maximum readability and to provide for users who are colorblind. 
We also provide an option for one word at a time mode for users who prefer their live captions to come through as single words rather than chunks of new text. This greatly improves readability for users in a number of different settings. Within the AI Live Caption Viewer, you can also copy paste the text captions during the live session. This is perfect for sharing quick notes or sharing key quotes on social media during a public event. There is a live chat panel to communicate with the captioners during the session, and we provide the ability to preset your own custom chat messages to save time. Another feature that sets AI Live Premium captioning apart from the competition is that it includes the ability to live edit and correct. With our AI Live Premium captioning service, customers also receive a full transcript of the caption session as a Word or PDF document within their secure portal on completion of the session. We currently deliver around 5,000 hours a week of this service globally. And when delivered with AI media re-speakers, this is done at a margin greater than 50%. A further extension of our AI Live Premium service is AI Live Multilingual. The multilingual component is powered via a smart machine translation algorithm combined with our trained humans. Multiple concurrent languages can be delivered with confidence, all powered by a single trained re-speaker. While significant advancements have been made in machine translation in recent years, human curation of the text going into the machine translation algorithms is still critical to ensure quality output across multiple languages simultaneously. What is this human curation required for machine translation? A great case study to illustrate the customer benefit is the World Economic Forum at Davos. At Davos, there are six pairs of human language interpreters, but there was a desire to make the content available in other languages without incurring the cost of more human interpreters. Rather than captioning the spoken content as is, our live multilingual captioners transform the spoken content in real time into a format optimized for machine translation as follows. First, they replace non-literal and colloquial language with literal language. Second, they specify the number of people being referenced. Third, they use full sentences. And finally, they use short, sharp sentences. Some examples. If the commentator says, after the runner crossed the finish line, her lungs were on fire. This would actually be captioned as, after the runner finished the race, she was exhausted. You can see the difference. While it's likely that the language in the original sentence could translate into any language, the intended meaning would be lost if phrases like finish line or on fire weren't interpreted in a different language to have the same meaning as the English idioms. Whereas the word finished and exhausted will translate more consistently and effectively into multiple languages. Another example would be the following. If the original sentence was, his fee is just a drop in the ocean compared to the total cost of this construction project, that would instead be captioned as, his fee is small compared to the total cost of the construction project. You can see from this example, the same principles at play. Communicating to the machine translation utility that a drop in the ocean means small. This is the benefit of human curation in this workflow. The second principle is the need to address the number of people. Some languages like English use the same word when addressing one person or a group of people. To ensure the grammar of the target language will be correct, it's important that the number of people being addressed in English is made explicit. For example, if someone were to say, it's fantastic to see you here today, but if you is addressing an entire audience, this would translate ineffectively to languages like French or Spanish, where there are multiple words for you in terms of singular or plural, depending on the number of people who are being addressed and the formality of the situation. Captioners avoid this misinterpretation by transforming that text into, it's fantastic to see everybody here today, thereby making sure that it translates effectively. 
The third principle is to use full sentences. Context is crucial to the process of machine translation and machines fundamentally don't understand context. And that is what the human curation provides in this workflow, context. Expressing ideas in full sentences ensures that the machine translation has the full context to correctly render a translation into the target language. For example, one might say, I put the document on the table, bring it over here, which would instead be captioned as, I put the document on the table, can you bring the document over here? Partial sentences don't translate well. A final key principle is to use short, sharp sentences. The simpler the sentence, the clearer the context, the easier the translation. Different grammar structures in different languages are magnified with multiple clauses. Avoiding commas where possible will greatly benefit machine translation output. Captioners therefore break complex ideas into a series of simple sentences which translate more effectively by minimising the need for further interpretation. For example, the last sentence might be captioned as, captioners will change complex ideas into simple ideas. Simple ideas translate more effectively than complex ideas. Another example, EEG has many customers in the enterprise video production segment, including leading technology companies and many Fortune 500 companies looking to increase content accessibility in tech conferences, product announcements, employee events, and investor communications. As accurate as that sentence was, and as exciting as it is about our EEG acquisition, that very long sentence would not translate well into German. Instead, our live multilingual captioners would break that sentence into four shorter, sharper sentences. Our zero-touch crowd platform. The AI recorded platform is a scalable crowd-based ecosystem that allows timely delivery of recorded captions. The key benefits of this platform are twofold. It produces savings on operating costs while enabling improved delivery times. Ultimately, this bionic crowd platform will spawn and grow a networked ecosystem that allows human and AI inputs to work together in bringing captions and subtitles to all forms of broadcast and recorded media content. What I'd like to illustrate for you today is our zero touch scalable AI recorded platform to connect our crowd workers with work. This is the AI recorded dashboard. And this is where agents first land after signing in. Here, agents can see all active tasks that are assigned to them. Agents can also see the tasks that they have previously completed by pressing the toggle button, as well as any history of actions taken on a task that they are assigned to. In the table of tasks, agents can see an overview of details. Of note is the allocation time. This value indicates how long the agent has to complete the assigned task and is dynamically generated to ensure agents have enough time to complete the task comfortably and meet our customers' deadlines. Clicking the View Available Recorded Tasks takes the agent to a list of available tasks that they can claim. Access to tasks is done via granular task and agent matching based on the historical performance of the agent and our customers' deliverable requirements. This segregation ensures that lower performing agents cannot access tasks that require higher performance metrics. There are also different task types which an agent must be signed off on before gaining access. In the list of available tasks, agents can see limited task details, notably the allocation time, media duration, and pay total. There is also media preview button to allow agents to check the content of the task and a start button, which will claim the task and open the task detail view. Agents are generally restricted to working on one task at a time. Clicking the start button will start the allocated time clock counting down. In the task detail view, agents are presented with the full details associated with the task, including support materials, notes from the customer, and notes from our services team, all automatically preloaded. From here, agents launch Scripter, our in-house integrated tool for creating time transcripts. 
Launching Scripter opens a new tab and automatically loads the machine generated draft captions in conjunction with a low resolution proxy of customers media. Agents are directed towards part of the automated captions which have lower confidence scores. Agents can easily toggle between the video and the captions with the Scripter platform automatically aligning the video and the transcript, allowing for intuitive editing from anywhere in the world using browser-based technology. Through the AI recorded platform, agents can directly report a problem to the support team if they experience any issues relating to completing a task. When an agent reports a problem, they are no longer considered as actively working on that task and are therefore free to pick up another task from their available tasks list. Once a problem has been reported, it appears on our support team triage list to be actioned. By monitoring the patterns of behaviour around problems that are reported, we also introduce further automations once the outcome from a scenario has been consolidated. This zero-touch platform massively increases the scalability of our AI recorded platform while saving around 25 cents per minute on the cost of delivery across thousands of hours a month. Turning now to ASR, automatic speech recognition. At a high level, when we talk about ASR, we are referring to technology that allows someone to use their voice to speak with a computer interface in a way that resembles normal human conversation. I'd now like to introduce Bill McLaughlin, who will talk to you about EEG's products and services, including Lexi, our market-leading ASR captioning service. Bill is EEG's Vice President of Product Development, responsible for leading EEG's product development team, and oversees the company's product marketing and communication activities. Bill joined EEG in 2004 and has over 15 years of experience in software, product architecture and development. Over to you, Bill. Thank you, Tony. It's a great pleasure to be presenting to you today as part of the AI media business. EEG caption and subtitle insertion technology occupies a dominant position in the North American broadcast market with presence in every major US terrestrial and cable television network. We also have many customers in the enterprise video production segment including leading technology companies and many Fortune 500 companies looking to increase content accessibility in tech conferences, product announcements, employee events, and investor communications. Like many technology companies, our focus and revenues have shifted from providing on-premises infrastructure to what's now a focus on providing software as a service and infrastructure as a service. Traditional on-premises video captioning infrastructure operated on an average five-year refresh cycle, while our cloud-based SaaS and IAS services provide predictable and balanced revenue streams as customers pay subscription and service fees as they realize the benefits of the products. This transition is driven by two main factors, one industry-wide and one specific to EEG. Industry-wide, there's been a strong interest in moving professional media production to the cloud, with industry leaders, including Fox and Discovery, taking advantage of increasing connection speeds, more flexible cost structures, and faster deployment of new services than with on-premises video data centers. Meanwhile, EEG has been vertically integrating a bigger chunk of the captioning service value chain. At the beginning of 2017, EEG provided video encoding technologies for hundreds of thousands of hours of live closed caption service annually, but all of this was transcribed by third-party partners. Today, while the total volume of captioning facilitated has continued to rise, EEG also provides the end-to-end -end services for 18% of the total hours through the EEG iCap ecosystem. The additional revenue captured by moving up the value chain is expected to be many multiples of our traditional revenue from video processing technology alone. EEG's vertical integration journey began with the launch of Lexi, EEG's SaaS automated caption brand in 2017. And Lexi's been growing rapidly in the US market in several key segments, local news, broadcasting, streaming-only digital media channels, and streaming virtual events. 
Plexi provides automatic live captioning to videos passing through any EEG video captioning product. It has very simple integration to those products, making it easier for customers to use than third-party services. Plexi has been designed to be used through a zero-touch workflow where captions begin automatically based on standardized API integrations to broadcast automation platforms and other software systems. When a customer has EEG encoder hardware or uses an EEG cloud product, this makes using Lexi a one-click operation. There's no need for specialized IT setup, new vendor onboarding, or a long-term contract. We find this to be an excellent sales tool. Users who begin to use Lexi on a limited basis are impressed by the high accuracy, low latency, and ease of use, and become very strong upsell targets for higher volumes of service, and even service that may require a higher level of quality than Lexi delivers. The availability of smart ASR and premium human content is a key benefit to the AI media transaction throughout EEG's customer base. The EEG Alta and Falcon product lines are cloud virtualized software that replaces hardware video caption encoding equipment for customers producing live video in the cloud. The Alta product is a direct successor to hardware video caption encoders for professional media production installations using IP video. Captions from any source are merged into uncompressed or lightly compressed production, master IP video using MPEG transport stream, Zixi, SMPTE 2110, or CDI standards using a completely virtualized software engine that can be deployed on public clouds or hosted on premises through VMware or other hosting software. EEG has been instrumental in developing these industry caption encoding standards in next generation formats over the past several years. And we are seeing as a result of this, almost a 100% win rate in major North American broadcast products moving live production into networked video. The Falcon product provides a focused and simple solution for smaller productions, including corporate events, education streaming, municipal meetings, marketing videos, and more. Falcon is an infrastructure as a service offering that runs side by side with Lexi on the eegcloud.tv web platform. Falcon provides an easy entry path to professionally captioning live streaming videos to many popular social media and video hosting platforms like Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Vimeo, and Brightcove. Falcon is the only easy to use standalone live captioning platform that enables producers to get a consistent captioning result across all of these different video platforms. Falcon also has great features for more advanced users trying to work with less supported language sets in the streaming video world, including simplified and traditional Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Arabic, and Cyrillic languages. The EEG video caption encoder hardware products, meanwhile, remain the standard for North America broadcasting with very strong brand momentum and compatibility with all major video production and caption transcription vendors. While large new customer build outs have begun to migrate towards the Alta product, the economics of cloud and IP video generally are expected to sustain an interest in SDI hardware caption encoders at current levels for several more years in local broadcasters and smaller productions. On-premises solutions are also generally favored for the highest security applications, including accessibility related to defense, healthcare, and internal proprietary corporate meetings. At present, margins on our hardware are in excess of 70%, while our margins on Lexi services and software are approximately 90%. Back to you, Tony. Thank you, Bill. And you can now see what a great acquisition EEG is, uh, what a phenomenal team uh, that comes with this acquisition, and how excited we are to bring this EEG product suite into AI media. And it's at this point, it's important to note that not all automatic captioning is equal. And with this in mind, we developed AI media's Smart ASR live captioning technology. Smart ASR is our latest offering in the live broadcast and enterprise captioning space and is AI Media's first live product that does not require real-time human curation. 
The launch of Smart ASR follows several years of in-house automation technology development, combining the benefits of artificial intelligence and machine learning automation for improved contextual accuracy with a final layer of human curated session specific custom ASR dictionaries to deliver a lower touch service than our premium product, but at a much higher level of quality than the standard automatic captioning products can provide. Many out of the box ASR systems deliver disappointing and unreliable results. As Bill said, Lexi overcomes this problem with the inclusion of custom dictionaries, which provide the context to guide the automatic captioning engine. Smart ASR builds further on Lexi by improving the curation of those custom dictionaries with session-specific human curation. For each Smart ASR session, our highly trained captioning team conducts in-depth research using proprietary in-house automated and human research tools combined with customer provided documentation. The output is a list of names, terms, key phrases, spellings and pronunciations which are tailored to the requirements of each session. Our Smart ASR product has been independently audited using the viewer-centric NER quality system. The audit determined that our Smart ASR captions consistently outperformed captions from the out-of-the-box ASR engine with the positive impact of our smart methodology on the reduction of recognition errors being the key feature. Smart ASR is particularly well suited to live broadcast or streaming environments that use studio quality audio and a predictable dictionary of defined terms. Smart ASR, in summary, gets you about halfway from the out of the box solution to AI Media's premium service. So in summary, just as EEG identified vertical integration as a key strategic objective, so too AI Media has been building a technology portfolio to offer a one-stop shop for our top shelf customers globally. Put simply, AI Media now offers a unified product proposition for streaming, captioning and translating live video across any platform anywhere in the world. Thank you very much. And we'll now move to Q&A. Uh, so the first question is, can you update us on the progress the business is making with Smart ASR following its recent launch? Yesterday, we announced our first Smart ASR contract win uh, with a long-term customer of ours, Sky News. Uh, this really validates uh, the strategy that we have with Smart ASR. Uh, this is a contract that has resulted in an increase in spend uh, and also an increase in margin. Uh, Sky News has moved from delivering seven hours a day with us uh, to providing a 24-7 service. Uh, this is important because customers increasingly watch TV uh, with captions on and the value proposition is getting more and more widely understood. And with the improved pricing that Smart ASR can deliver, it's a much more affordable and scalable solution. Next question is, what would be the difference between Smart ASR and Smart Lexi? We are absolutely adopting a house of brands approach. Uh, the acquisition of EEG and the other acquisitions that we've made recently with uh, ACS, uh, Caption IT and Caption Access, there's an enormous amount of equity uh, that has been built up uh, in these brands. Uh, and so the real key here is smart. Uh, we are using smart to mean anything that is human curated. Ultimately, humans provide this smart, these smarts, which are context. Uh, that's the one thing that computers need to be taught. And what Smart ASR shows us is that a little bit of context uh, goes a long way. And in fact, the near-term opportunities uh, that we are seeing in terms of revenue synergies uh, with EEG, which really is the dominant reason uh, for uh, this acquisition, uh, is on the upsell of those uh, Lexi customers, as Bill said, uh, about 18% of the hours at the moment going through the ICAP network um, are on Lexi. And we've identified a number of targets uh, where we're looking to upsell them onto Smart Lexi. Smart Lexi uh, is the brand that we will run with in the United States. Uh, and Smart ASR is the one that we are using in Australia. But the end product is the same. 
how much opportunity and demand do you think there is outside the US for EEG products and services? Um, great question. Again, uh, this is one of the key drivers uh, of uh, the value of the rationale for, for this acquisition. Uh, we see enormous opportunity outside the US uh, for the EEG product suite, particularly the infrastructure as a service options uh, that Bill has just run through. Uh, two of our most recent uh, customer wins uh, in uh, Europe and in the Middle East were done uh, with this one-stop shop approach whereby we installed the EEG hardware uh, and then offered a full suite of services, be it the highest quality premium uh, captioning uh, to the uh, uh, custom dictionaries uh, with Lexi and then the smart Lexi uh, where you add that human curation to get you again about halfway between the premium service uh, and uh, the automated Lexi tool. Is the volume through the infrastructure as a service and hardware channels similar to the percentage split in the revenue? Broadly speaking, yes, with the proviso that Bill articulated um, that the refresh cycle on the hardware is uh, about once every five years. So the hardware sales tend to be a bit more lumpy, uh, while the infrastructure as a service is obviously um, uh, a lot more recurring in nature. Uh, and that is absolutely the, the strategy for the, for the organization, which is to increase the quality of those revenue streams uh, by driving more of our business into the SaaS and the infrastructure as a service uh, business lines. Uh, while we're expecting the hardware um, uh, to remain relatively stable in terms of revenue and, and, and margin. Uh, and uh, we're expecting to see uh, a shift in that some of that services um, revenue that we've reported historically move into that software as a service uh, line as we transition more and more hours into Lexi and Smart Lexi and Smart ASR. Can you please talk a little bit more about NER? How does it differ from accuracy and what sort of NER do live broadcasters typically need for captioning? That's a great question. So NER is the method by which uh, we assess the captioning quality. Uh, and essentially what it does is it recognises that not all errors are equal. Um, and as you saw in that um, smart ASR uh, demonstration, the importance of getting uh, the name of the cyclone and the name of the town uh, right is, is pretty important. Uh, without actually being able to, to train uh, those engines to provide that context, it gets those really important words wrong. So fundamentally what NER does is it scores different errors according to the impact on viewer understanding. Uh, and uh, it's, a, it's a tool that, that, that where the difference between uh, a 97 and a 98 is actually very, very big. Um, the uh, Ofcom, which is the UK regulator, uh, has set 98 as the minimum NER benchmark. Uh, and in fact, we at AI Media get independently audited every single quarter. Uh, and our human generated captions typically deliver around 99.5 uh, on the NER scale. So um, uh, much better than what you would get out of the box. Um, our um, uh, smart Lexi and uh, smart ASR solutions are delivering consistently above 98.5 and actually uh, getting towards 99, uh, which for the right type of content is perfectly acceptable um, for, for broadcasters around the world. The key for, to understanding um, NER is uh, also to recognise that different types of content are going to require different styles of captioning to deliver that minimum acceptable benchmark. So for a percentage of the EEG um, uh, uh, content that's going through Lexi, uh, about 18% of that at the moment is going through that fully automated uh, Lexi tool whereas uh, we expect there will be considerable upsell opportunities in terms of Smart Lexi for content that requires that little bit more curation to get it above uh, that 98 mark, which is uh, the target globally. Do you get visibility on volume going through the ICAP hardware if a customer has bought it outright? It's not actually the hardware uh, where the um, volume is going through. The volume is actually going through the ICAP network. Um, and the power of the ICAP network is that it connects um, over the internet uh, captioners to broadcasters. Um, and so that is, that is where we see uh, the total volume.
What are your greatest challenges in terms of competition, given the rapid development of cheaper and more accessible machine learning and machine translation technologies from organizations like Amazon and Google? We use those machine translation tools and automatic speech recognition tools as inputs. Um, and then we overlay our own custom dictionaries and our custom curation. Uh, so what we, we need to get very intimately involved with, with how those systems work and we have API connections to all of the major machine translation uh, programs um, as well as a, a, a lot of automatic speech recognition uh, programs. Because we focus on understanding how those tools are going to respond, we can then train our people, our crowd workers, um, on what they need to do to curate uh, that content so that it is, is optimised for those machine translation algorithms. And some of those things, as I presented today, uh, relate to making sure that you're uh, getting rid of any metaphor or figurative language, uh, making sure that you're delivering things in short, sharp and complete sentences. Um, and, and again, it's this ability to curate that content on the way in that gives the massive step change to what you would get from those out-of-the-box solutions. Uh, and um, uh, even those customers themselves uh, recognise the need for uh, third-party service providers when the quality expectations are greater uh, than what the technology alone can deliver. Do you need to make any significant core technology changes to allow AI media to sell the EEG solutions into Europe and other regions? Simple answer, no. <laughs> we are fully integrated uh, with EEG globally. Um, we've been partners with them uh, on key strategic accounts now for many years. Uh, our solutions fit hand in glove and have for a long time. Uh, what this uh, acquisition and combination uh, has really allowed us to do for the very first time though, um, is to present as, as one uh, supplier. Uh, the, a lot of these key accounts uh, in Europe, in North America, in Asia, um, in Australia and New Zealand, uh, these key customers want one point of contact. Uh, one point of contact that can look after the audio and the video. One point of contact that can look after the captions. One point of contact that can look after the translation. Uh, and in fact, um, uh, the pipeline is actually looking really exciting uh, in terms of also these, uh, uh, this customer base uh, as we move from traditional broadcast uh, and into some of those enterprise uh, uh, style customer accounts uh, that Bill spoke about in terms of uh, the availability of Falcon. What are typical terms for an infrastructure as a service contract uh, and do the payment terms match uh, the revenue recognition uh, in terms of uh, monthly subscription? Um, I'll throw to Bill in a second just to um, answer the part on uh, the infrastructure as a service. Broadly speaking, yes, the revenue is recognised as the benefits are received, which is monthly. We are, as I said, um, working on a house of brands uh, a strategy. Uh, we are bringing uh, more and more of the equity that has built up in our target companies uh, and looking to leverage that using uh, the AI media brand. Uh, we'll be rolling out some initiatives uh, in coming weeks and months to strengthen uh, this house of brands, uh, but it's very much building on what has been uh, a very successful strategy in each of the local markets in which our target companies have operated uh, and uh, extending that into uh, the global service that we are, are capable of uh, now delivering as a uh, unified global one-stop shop uh, for live captioning, uh, transcription and translation in any language, from any language, to any language with three premium, uh, mid-tier and basic tier options in terms of quality. And we're now going to go back to Bill. Uh, for what are the typical terms uh, for an infrastructure as a service uh, contract, uh, that being through Falcon uh, or Alta. Bill. Yeah, so um, the, the Falcon contracts are typically signed on uh, an annual basis. Some customers are paying monthly. Many customers are paying on a committing for an annual basis. Um, and... Um, you know, as Tony said, that re revenue is recognized as the service comes in. Um, the Alta product is sold as sort of a hybrid model between being that type of monthly software as a service and being an upfront software license fee, uh, which sort of matches the 
um, capital expense structure uh, a little bit more closely of what happens with the hardware encoders that Alta is generally replacing. Thanks, Bill. What's the turnover of the contractor crowd? Are they difficult to source and train? The turnover is actually very, very low. Uh, we have very high satisfaction rates. We measure um, our uh, employee net promoter score uh, for the crowd, um, uh, and it's in excess of uh, 65 um, on recent uh, uh, data. Uh, we don't have any trouble uh, recruiting uh, for captioners uh, or crowd workers uh, and we can attract these people from all over the world. Uh, I think uh, what we're also seeing is that we have a, uh, a great brand where w we are making the world's content accessible for everyone. Uh, and a lot of people buy into that vision and that mission, um, as well as uh, obviously having a place where they can um, apply their talents from home uh, to earn uh, a good wage. Uh, next question, should other captioning companies be worried about more vertical integration by EEG? Now AI Media has bought EEG. It's a very competitive market out there. We're seeing a lot of consolidation. Uh, and in fact, that was one of the key reasons for AI Media deciding to list on the Australian Stock Exchange uh, last year was to uh, have access to growth capital. Um, what we are absolutely about doing is increasing the amount of uh, captioning uh, and accessible content that is being delivered globally. Uh, we're only at the very early stages uh, of that curve. We are focused on greenfield sites uh, to grow uh, the AI media business um, outside of the US. Uh, obviously the EEG business is very, very heavily focused uh, in the US. Um, the ICAP infrastructure and ecosystem has become the default standard um, for delivering captions across broadcast television uh, right across North America. Uh, we have no intention of changing that um, and we will maintain an open platform for the premium service providers um, across the ICAP platform, indeed as EEG has done. Uh, we are about making more content accessible, uh, we are about doing it in more languages and we are about making sure that we can provide a one-stop shop to those high value customers right around the world. Does AI Media have a presence in the Caribbean? Um, if not, what tech and opportunities are there available to individuals and both private and public stakeholders? Uh, so AI Media has a global presence. Our Caribbean sales opportunities are run through our uh, Americas team. Um, uh, I don't think we have a lot of volume over there at the moment, um, but uh, what we are seeing is we're seeing a lot of uh, event companies, streaming companies, uh, really start to look at providing accessibility right around the world as kind of a core feature set. Um, I think a lot of this has actually been driven uh, by the streaming services. Um, uh, about half of people watch Netflix now uh, with captions, uh, and this is a, a vast change to how people thought about captioning um, even a few years ago. Uh, people expect captioning on content now, and so we expect to see sales growth opportunities right around the world, including the Caribbean. What are the product development opportunities for AI media following the acquisition of EEG? We are continuing to focus on that very simple message, uh, which is that one-stop shop uh, delivering live captions in any language, from any language to any language, uh, with three quality tiers. Um, the focus will continue to be to uh, refine and improve the customer experience. Uh, through um, uh, improved automation uh, across the AI media and EEG platforms um, and uh, continuing to integrate seamlessly with whatever platform um, people are looking to view the captions uh, and the, the, the content on. Um, as more and more platforms proliferate, you need to make sure that you're constantly staying ahead of the curve. Um, and we're also continuing to focus on how to continue to improve uh, both the accuracy of our machine translation uh, products uh, and also uh, smart ASR um, and make that service available more widely in more languages uh, at greater and greater scale. Um, and that's really the, the product development focus uh, for the next couple of years um, as we continue to integrate these great businesses together. Bill, why did EEG choose uh, to sell to AI Media? 
Um, well, I, I think AI Media is a really good partner for what EEG needs to do going forward. Um, if you followed EEG's story, there's a tremendous amount of dominance uh, in, in a sector of the United States uh, subtitling, captioning market, particularly in broadcasting. AI Media is trying to be a globally consolidated company and really to, you know, kind of leverage some of the best technologies and best team from around the world to make this a business that really scales at a level that it hasn't been scaled to before. I think that's important for EEG. And I think that we're really providing a tech angle on what AI media has been doing. And with Smart Lexi and Smart ASR, you're really going to see tech and services merge together to change this business uh, in a way that I think has been missing from a company that's really focused on the intersection of the two. Thanks very much, Bill. Couldn't agree more. And I think that's the end of the questions. Uh, thank you all very much for attending this technology showcase uh, and stay tuned for further updates uh, in the weeks and months ahead.